Hello and welcome to Stockton Junction. And uh, this is a just a quick little talk about what sort of tools I use when I'm building card kits. And when I talk about card kits, I'm not necessarily talking about Metcalf style kits. I'm talking about the sort that you buy from Scale Model Scenery or Scale Scenes, where you something like this, where you have to actually build the whole thing yourself. I'm talking about where you use grey card, print off the sheets and build them yourself. So um, there's various tools that I do use. Um, I do use a set square as well, which I haven't got here um, because it's up in the loft at the moment. I was using it for another project. But uh, things that you need. So obviously a steel, steel ruler, very, very useful, very much needed. Um, when you're cutting out such things like this, you don't want to cut them out freehand. Using, you use a steel ruler to cut straight lines. Using it that way, not that way. Not that way up, because obviously um, it's not flush to the edge as it has this cork part on the bottom side. I'd always be careful using steel rulers and knives because obviously they can slip. I've done it myself. Um, there are many knives you can use. Um, some people prefer to use scalpel blades. I did use used to use those, but I find that A, they can snap, especially on the thicker card. And also they wear very blunt very quickly. Um, so I was literally... Um, I was literally going through blades every few minutes and it was a pain to keep changing them all the time so what i've opted for is something like this um it's snap off blade knife with a the thin blade very easy to just keep snapping off a piece off every time it gets blunt and i bought these this from screw fix and pack of blades you get 10 in a pack they're also from screw fix not not expensive at all so um moving on obviously when you're gluing parts together where it says join this piece and this piece together and glue them together you need to clamp them so these are clothes pegs which i showed in another video they've got rubber in there so they're not too strong they don't damage the card um but these were from aldi they do them every so often and they're pretty cheap. Um, also, another thing I use, quite often you'll have on one of these, it'll say on a, on the printout sheets rather than the stick on card sheets, it'll say score a line across here or something with a little dotted line. So what I have is a pen that's run out. A normal ballpoint pen, but there's no ink in it anymore. That is better for scoring lines. Don't use a knife, you end up just cutting through. So that's always useful. The other thing I use is a permanent marker where it will say, for instance, uh, colour the edges around the outside in black, etc. Um, which I used around the edges of the roofing on the farmhouse that I did recently. Uh, very useful. Um, a pair of dressmaking scissors are always good. They're brilliant for cutting things. But you don't want to cut anything too thick like the two mil card won't cut through those very well but always use a decent pair of sharp scissors for other jobs like that um when we're talking about sticking something like that on the card to stop it from bubbling because i had a lot of trouble with that i used to use pva i used to use a brush brush it all all the pva on stick the sheet down and I'd get bubbles no matter how much I rubbed it to get it flat. It would also, the sheets would curve and bend. I'd have warped pieces because PVA tends to um, contract as it dries. So basically it will bend the sheet. It will start to bend the sheet like that. So what I've started doing is using Prit Stick. Now there's options. Um, you've got this, this sort of one. I've which is very, very good, it's strong. What I found though is it's only a small 19.5 grams, doesn't last very long. So on my last build, 
I bought a couple of these tw over twice the size two of these cost me as much as one of as one of these so I thought I'd try it out works fine works absolutely perfectly um, the one thing that you will see on my board here is this roller so what I do is if I've got my plain piece of card I put my Pritt stick all over the the card I get my sheet and I put one edge down like that and then what I do is with my left hand which I obviously can't do as I'm I can't use two hands at the moment so I start to roll gently like this as I lower the sheet along so basically as we get to this point here when the sheets all the way down then it should all be flat but for the next minute or 30 seconds at least I carry on rolling like that that will make sure that there are no air bubbles coming into the sheet and that it stays perfectly flat I picked this thing up for about four or five quid on eBay absolutely brilliant worth every penny so the last thing I want to discuss here is glue um, for plastic model kits etc I use this sort of glue and um, very good glue when I'm building card kits I either use I use PVA but I always use Mod Podge Matte I haven't got one in front of me actually I've got one here I always use this for all of my card kits because if you do have seepage spillage it doesn't glow shiny it doesn't show up it's really good stuff always decant it into a smaller pot that I can use to uh, work with and also for card kits depending on what I'm gluing I always use the super glue as well which I've just mentioned before you get I get these in pound land three for a pound come with these nozzles as well so for fine tooth fine application absolutely brilliant so that concludes tools that I use when I'm building my kits um, just one other thing I was going to mention is this uh, copper business I've been looking into it and there's a lot of info out there there's a lot of people saying that you can't do this you can do that etc I've actually uh, contacted the FDA myself and I'm awaiting a response but from some of the things that I've read on the FDA website then um, I don't actually think that us model makers will have an issue with it um, I'm not going to go into all the details but I, I will put a link down in the description to the website where all their information is um, it is very interesting and it does really state what sort of things they're looking for and from a model maker's perspective we're adult modelers modeling for adults we're not you know doing this for a child audience and as other people have stated on their videos all of the products that we use are all stated mostly all of them anyway uh, not intended for this is not a toy not for children uh, under the age of 14 uh, so that being said, I think that we're uh, pretty safe on the uh, copper regulations thing. Uh, but I've marked all my videos as adult for, for now. And I shall uh, come back to you shortly once I find out some, some information back from the FDA if they reply to me. Which I'm hoping they will. Which I've done on behalf of Model, model Railway um, channels like myself mine and other people's out there so hopefully i'll be getting a bit more information that i can update you with on that all right thank you for watching and goodbye for now